I am about to lose my first debate ever on this show. <laughs> and look what she's already done to me, and I didn't know this was coming. She has upstaged me on Black Friday. She's in all black. It's Black oh. Friday. Isn't that yeah. what you have to do? Y'all playing it. Y'all playing it. Y'all playing it. Y'all playing it. You didn't plan this. No, did I didn't plan it, but you know it's the Johnny Cash thing. You know you got to go out fighting. She's Mrs. Cash. And Mrs. Yeah. Cash. Today. Yeah. She's also a published author. Congratulations! Thank you. Oh, thank you have you very a much. book coming out today. I do today on Amazon. on Amazon. It's called Balls: How to Keep Your Relationship <laughs> Alive When You Live with a Sports Obsessed Guy. So yeah. let's jump right into it. I, I, I imagine there was a little inspiration in your own household, but why'd you write this book? There was. I know nothing about sports. I knew nothing about sports. I do know a whole lot about sports now. But 14 years ago, when I met this lovely man, I absolutely had no idea what sports was. I did not come from a sports family. Um, my dad liked baseball occasionally. My brother liked soccer. But I, I had never been to a football game in my life. And to this day, I still have not been to a football game in my life. Yeah. That is the truth. You won't be going because he doesn't go either. That is also the truth. <laughs> And so I... Well, you did go in the marching band, right? That's, it, that's true. The closest I ever came to being at a football game was I played clarinet and I was in the marching <laughs> band. So that was the closest I ever came to being at a live football game. So she still doesn't get the jinx rules. The first huge violation came last year in the playoffs, the Tom Brady at Mahomes boy game <laughs> in the AFC championship game. What happened early in that game? It's already 7 to nothing, New England, and New England is driving and winds up with third and goal from the one-yard line. What would Tom Brady not do in that circumstance? <laughs> Turn it over. So what does she know? I told her, I need three hours. This is it. This is our biggest game. We're going to lead with this, right? right? Yep. Although then something happened in the Saints <laughs> game that we <laughs> right. uh, kind of preempted that. <sighs> but the point is that – it's, it's third and goal from the one, and I told her, just don't bother me. Don't open the door. I'm in my room watching my two TVs, but this time it's just one big TV. And she opens the door right on cue and sticks her head in and says, Hey, I, I got this. Did I give you this letter? I don't know what there this letter is. There was a certified is. letter that came. <laughs> was and I found it, and it was on the weekend. And I said, oh, my God, this is an important letter. So, he needs this letter. As God is my witness, <laughs> that was I, the go, only reason. I go like this. No, right. and I barely get right. the no out. And Tom Brady raises up and throws it right to Reggie Raglan, the, the linebacker for Kansas City. Look, this at, look at this. I he throws it right to Reggie Raglan. Yeah. Right. Rookie from uh -huh. Alabama. Wasn't he a rookie last year from Alabama? No, no, no. no he's, 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 yeah, he's, yeah. So, so he hits him, and, and I, I fall on the floor, and, and one of our biggest fights ever ensues, and I still haven't gotten over it. She gets over it a lot and faster so than I do. Once again, I say, Skip, how can I change that game? Uh, because I opened the door? This is insane. She always says, I'm, I'm in Century City in Los Angeles. <laughs> and what I, just because I opened a door, it changed the game in Kansas City? Yes. When you're watching the game with him, can you root against his team? Well, if we turn to a certain player, I can, like yep. as in Kawhi. Kawhi <laughs> is one of my favorites. I can't believe you just said, said his name. Oh, God. So. Oh, no. I, I will not you know, say we, what we you have call an him is number whatever. Yeah. Number two. Yeah, she, because I am so out as we just talked on number two, and she still loves him. I love him. She, he was a right. he was a spur. Right. He was amazing. So we fight about this we, constantly. Well, well, see, that's how does it look. You cannot sit with me and root against somebody I'm rooting for. Uh, you got to go. Uh, you got to go. So I, I get that, Skip. Uh, you, you know, you can't sit. I, whoa, whoa. Well, we're in this together. We're a team. But I tone it down. I don't. I don't really. You undercover root. I, I, I go in the other room and I'm rooting. <laughs> rooting. I do. And but even the, yeah. the only rule is if she's watching a Spurs game, especially a big one or a playoff game, if she starts watching, she can't stop. He she can't leave because if the they get off to room. a good start, she's. She, I always ask her before, are you going to stay? Are you, right. Do you want to watch? Because I'm happy for her to I watch. I have to make me. sure that I've emptied my bladder before I go. Because <laughs> otherwise, I say to him, well, if I have to go to the ladies' room, I'm sorry. No, no you have to stay. They're 18. We got to Yeah, stay. Skip, that's a bit much. I no. thought I was a bit right. over the top. Yeah, Skip, you might be a little bit too much. Yep. These rules are very complicated. Mm -hmm. Pull back the curtain for us uh -huh. at home. Uh -huh. What is he really like? If I have to be totally honest, and I will, he's a very spiritual, kind, caring um, Funny, contrary to what you may think, he is very funny at home, and we have a lot in common, and he's got a heart of gold, and so Thank we just you. have a lot of fun. I concur. 
Yeah. Thank you. And, and a lot of people ask me that all the time, Ernestine. What's he really like? I say he's as genuine as they come. I said, do not let the persona that you see as he and I debate back and forth. Mm-hmm. I say, the man, when, it, when I say he will literally give you the shirt off his back, he would. He I will. said, I sit across from that man because he vouched for me. Mm-hmm. I said, I was the first guy, professional athlete, to sit directly across from him. He's a journalist, a journalist right. background. Right. I said, you look at all the other formats. You look at PTI, Around the Horn, all those people that do that yes. are journalists. Yes. He says, I want a professional athlete because professional athletes normally can talk about this, their sport. Sure. But I believe Shannon can talk about basketball, baseball, yes. anything that we come up with. He'll do his homework. So he good with me. And, yeah. and, I, and, I, and our hood, Skip Bailey, can, can come to the cookout anytime. He can drive me a little crazy. with. He loves Die Hard and he has to recite every line when we're watching the movie. And I can't watch the movie. And I say, can I hear Bruce talking the line instead of you? But- no. Other than that, he's okay to live with. So let me say publicly, I love you very Aww, much. I love you too, Skip. I wouldn't be what I am without you. Thank you. And just for the record, you are number one because I do give you every waking second outside of this job. I don't do anything but but her. Friday night is date night, unless LeBron's playing or... <laughs> yeah. and, and we, or Spurs. You know, Spurs. <laughs> and we watch Jeopardies. We watch all our Jeopardies, and he has to win. I mean, of course, I, I do win sometimes, but I don't mind losing just because I don't know everything in the world, but he minds losing. Yes, he's a be- he is a very, very sore loser. I'm sore a sore loser. loser. <laughs> Bottom line, we have been together now for 14 yep. years. Never for one second... Am I ever bored with her? And that's my bottom line. We I'm always have fun. Either. We always have fun. Yeah, that's so true. So thank you. Thank you. So you know what? You did okay. Thanks. Sigh of relief from Scott. <laughs> date night still on tonight? Yeah, we may probably. have date night tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Did he brief you? Well, don't say this. He don't briefed th- me at 3.15 while I was on the treadmill and he was on the bike. Yeah, we had to go over the list. So it was okay. <laughs> well, that was really sweet, what you said. A whole different side of Skip Bayless. And Ernestine, congratulations. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate you letting me mm-hmm. come on and having me as a guest. I think, Ernestine, I think you got your nearness back in that photo. Yeah, That's I why you got a little right smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pinching him. I'm pinching him. Thank of course, you, this Jen. is the last Thank time you. she's going to be on. No, yeah. she can come back any time. It's the only one and only time. I have to write another book to be able to. <laughs> and the book's available as of on, today. Today on Amazon. On Amazon. Congratulations. Okay. Can't wait to Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.